He used to be a Miami Dolphin, and he's friends with Dan Marino, and I'm not picking that up. He has his own trading card. Give it up for Mark Hatfield, everybody. Don't get it circumcised, you know. <laughs> Fucking Jew. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mark Hatfield. I played pro football for five years. I retired because of a concussion, I think. Now a retired CFL football player. Woo! Yeah. I know what you must be thinking. That guy is living on Easy Street. Actually, I'm living on Rideau Street. <laughs> I am also married with children. The secret to a great marriage when you got kids is once every couple weeks you get a babysitter and you go on date night. I've had some amazing evenings with my babysitter. <laughs> babysitter hates that joke. <laughs> Says it's not fair to him. <laughs> you guys look like a happy couple. You guys married? You are not, that's why you're happy. <laughs> My wife and I also have a beautiful story. We met in Fiji. I mean, I'm Kijiji. <laughs> He's not so happy. We wanted to go camping last weekend, my wife and I, but all we could find was a two-man tent. So I took her brother. <laughs> Sex was awkward. <laughs> From behind, they look very similar. <laughs> My wife and I like to watch TV together. We just finished watching the 10 part mini series about Marco Polo. <laughs> so many historical inaccuracies. Not once did they mention kids in a pool. <laughs> Kids, you gotta learn to make sacrifices. So I bought a goat. <laughs> Cut its head off. <laughs> then I realized that's the wrong kind of sacrifices. <laughs> then I felt stupid. But my crops were very bountiful that season. <laughs> Kids, every night is the same. 7.30 p.m., bubble bath with toys. 8.30 p.m., get out of the bath and find the kids. <laughs> oh, oh, big news just found out this afternoon. My is expecting. <laughs> Be home at 9.30. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We took a first aid course for parents and when the instructor was telling us what to do when children get food caught in their throat, he asks me, have you ever had any trouble with choking kids? And I said, no. I used two hands to choke my kids. <laughs> I recently got back from a two-week vacation.
vacation with our three sons, and my wife says to me, Mark, we have so many little boys, we're just missing one thing. And I said, Netflix? <laughs> she said, Disectomy, which is more Netflix than Netflix. <laughs> I said, baby, my balls are way too awesome for that. She said, you're so fucking egotistical. <laughs> so I go in for the procedure, and I'm lying there on the table, and the doctor's got my ball sack up in the air, and he's shaving it off. The hair, not the ball sack. <laughs> I start to think about my kids, and I start to get second thoughts. I don't remember my first thoughts. <laughs> but my second thoughts were I should have done this 20 years ago. <laughs> Hello, my name's Mark Hatfield. I played three seasons with the BC Lions. <laughs> After my first game, my mom runs up to me and she says, Mark, great game! Which team were you on? <laughs> so I explained it to her and she never missed a game. In my third season, we made it to the Western Final. I got to the stadium a few hours before kickoff and I ran into my mom. She painted the number 48 on both cheeks. <laughs> and I said, Mom, pull up your pants. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. <laughs> she said, I'm so proud of you. I just want everyone to know that you're my son. And I thought, that's beautiful. But I'm number 66. <laughs> she was watching the wrong guy for three years. <laughs> watching a little black guy for three years. <laughs> it's a very humbling. And as you know, pro football players are anything but humble. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, I know this one guy that even today carries around a stack of his own football cards and he hands them out to people he wants to sleep with. There you go, sir. <laughs> Just don't have what it takes. Or the 
really just don't have a doctor that'll prescribe it. Nor a veterinarian. <laughs> People ask me if I ever took steroids, and I say, Nay! <laughs> Nay. <laughs> Before all that was university football, and which was very hectic because in addition to the uh, football, there was essays, projects, and assignments. That was a lot of work for my girlfriend. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mark Hatfield. Thank you very much. <laughs>